An old man is shown as the film starts, and he hears some voices from the upstairs room of his house. And when he goes to check there was nothing but a toy that was turning itself. The old man checks and sees someone's shadow, to see the shadow he places a sheet on it. He doesn't see anything but after a while, the shadow comes in front of him. The old man gets scared to see it. That hidden shadow in the sheet attacks and ends him. Then the scene after a few years is shown. A couple is shown and Allison came to her childhood house to live with her husband. She comes to her house for the first time after her father's death and was feeling good. Her old memories refresh, but her husband Richard says if you aren't feeling good to stay here we can move to the city. As this house was far from the city, Allison has a son and she was seeing weird dreams at night. Because of this, she goes to sleep paralysis means she wasn't sleeping but also wasn't able to move her body. Actually, this was her childhood disease and her husband relaxed her, in her childhood her father do this. Allison doesn't understand that is this an illness of her or if there is something strange with her. Because she sees a lady standing at a distance whenever she is in this situation who just sees her. It happens the same to her in childhood and her father made her understand that all this is fake. This is just your delusion nothing else and when her father left after making her sleep she used to see the scary dreams again. Richard was getting ready to go to the office in the morning and Allison sees a paranormal investigator on TV. He was telling that he has captured a soul and found a human dead body. Seeing him, Allison thinks that she should also talk to him about his case. Allison starts cleaning her house when her husband Richard left, she was placing the books. Meanwhile, she sees a picture of a bride and groom, but she couldn't recognize them. That's why she places the picture and continue cleaning. During this, she hears the voice of water flowing and she goes to check and finds the tap open. There was water filled in the wash basin, she closes the tap and puts her hand to clean the water from basin. But finds someone's hair and she becomes worried to see them, how did those hairs come here? Meanwhile, Allison hears her baby crying and she makes her baby quiet, but she sees a thread. It was clasping like a ball and seeing it, she remembers she has seen such a thread in her mother's hands. Her mother was a tailor. At night, Having dinner with Allison her husband tells her that he has to go out of the city for businessman. Allison doesn't feel good and says you must be taking your secretary with you. Because Allison's husband firstly like his secretary, but Allison forbids him that you will go leaving me alone. On it, he says to try to understand if I will not go, they will terminate me from job. Allison was furious that he is going with his secretary, but Richard says this is my job. Try to understand I only love you so don't suspect me, Allison leaves, without saying anything. Then she sees a turning toy in front and seeing it, Allison remembers her childhood. Like how it came in front of her in childhood and when she chased it her mother locked her in the store. Her father takes her out in the morning and Allison was injured, later her father decided to give her to a family. As Allison wasn't saved in her own house, at that time, Allison sees a priest in her house. He was casting spells in a room and since then Allison starts living outside and now she comes home after years. In the morning, Richard comes to Allison and apologizes to her for last night's behavior while making her understand. He says look, understand this business trip is important for me, Allison agrees and lets him go. After it, Richard is shown in the office watching his secretary in the meeting. On another side, Allison was alone at home and was reading book at night. Suddenly, the lights turn off and when she goes to check, she sees her father's shadow there. Seeing it, Allison gets scared and yells after recovering the light, but there was none. After it, she hurriedly moves to her son and becomes calm to see him safe and sound. She goes to sleep and after a while, Allison wakes up and feels that she is still in sleep paralysis. At the same time, she hears her baby's voice on a walkie-talkie from the room in which someone was saying she will take her baby. 
Hearing it, Allison gets scared, but he goes to her baby's room when she becomes fine. Then calls Richard and tells him about this, but he says this must be your delusion because you often see nightmares. Be relaxed and sleep after taking medicine. He was still with his secretary, now again at night, Allison hears a voice from the upstairs room. It was the same room we saw at the start of the story, which means there is something there. She finds an old tape that was recorded by her father. Allison watches it and sees she went to the forest with her parents. She sees another video of her mother doing strange acts, and her father called a priest. Allison doesn't understand anything after seeing it, what happened to her mother. Allison somehow finds the priest whom she saw in the video and goes to meet him. The priest asks, Who are you? She says my father asked for help from you years ago. I am his daughter and I want to know what happened to my mother. Why did she used to do weird acts? The priest says sorry, I can't help you in all this or I can't tell you anything. But Allison says I feel someone's presence in that house even then the priest doesn't hear her. He shuts the door at her face and then on the same day he goes to Allison's house. And she says my question is same what happened to my mother? The priest tells your mother is under the control of an evil soul. It controlled your mother and your father gave you to the other family to keep you safe. The soul that was in your mother was dangerous and no spell was affecting her. That's why we have to end your mother while separating her neck. After it, your father felt that the soul has returned but it was still in that house, hearing it, Allison gets scared. She tells the priest that whenever I am in sleep paralysis, I used to see someone, but he says this isn't your delusion. But it's unreal, because that soul is present here, and it doesn't want to leave the house. Allison asks what does that soul want from us? And the priest tells after the marriage of your grandfather his wife disappeared. Then he did a second marriage and had two kids from it, but only your mother left from them. Her sister means your auntie was taken by that soul. That soul is none other than your first grandmother who used to come to take her kid. About whom the priest was talking we will know further in the story. Meanwhile, Allison sees that soul behind the priest and stands up being scared and asks how can we send this soul from here. He tells for this, we have to burn all the things connected to her. Richard arrives who hears them and becomes furious, he asks the priest to leave. Richard doesn't believe in all this, and he was thinking the priest is trapping Allison. The priest leaves their house, but suddenly, his car stops on the way and the soul appears in front of him as a guard. It was the same bride whose picture Allison saw, actually, she wants to scare the priest. Meanwhile, the priest prays and starts casting a spell and during this, the door of his car opens. He closes it immediately but it again opens and the priest gets scared and the soul ends him while attacking him. On another side, Allison brings her baby into her room and hears voice and sees the priest leaving. It was strange, because the priest was dead then, who was he? Allison goes behind him and sees the soul. It was taking her from there, but when Richard comes near her the soul leaves. They come to the room and discover they have taken their baby, now Richard calls the police to find his baby. Allison also knows that a soul has taken her baby and the police can't find it. They call the paranormal priest investigator whom she saw on the TV, he comes home when they call him. He shows them a magical crystal ball and tells whenever there is an evil soul near it, it changes color. Like this, we discover is there any evil soul or not, the priest sees Allison's room and discovers her baby is taken by an evil soul. He says to Allison if you want to bring your baby back you have to go to that soul's world. Allison agrees and the priest starts magic while lighting up the candles in Allison's room. The priest opens his eyes and finds himself in the other world and sees that soul. There was Allison's baby in its hands and says look, it will not be good if you will not return this baby. Suddenly, the soul disappears and the priest sees a demonic sign on the wall. The priest tells reaching the real world that the soul is your grandmother who used to worship demons. 
That's why a demon controlled her while coming from its world and when your grandfather discovers this, he buried his wife alive. His wife and demon are taking revenge for it, like they took your mother's sister and now they took your baby. Allison asks why she took babies? The priest tells when your grandfather buried your grandmother she was pregnant. She is taking revenge of it while picking up the babies of this family and Richard becomes worried hearing all this. He asks the priest, what should we have to do? How can we bring our baby back? The priest says, while going to that soul's world and fighting with her, only Allison could do this. Because only a mother's strength can save her child. They make Allison lay down in a room and asks her to take a long breath. Doing this, Allison reaches that world and finds herself locked in a box. She somehow comes out of the box and reaches her childhood room where she was watching TV. Here, her mother comes to her and says while consoling her that everything will be fine, but Allison says I know. This isn't reality meanwhile, her mother comes in the real getup and starts pressing her neck. On the other side, the priest asks Richard to bring his bag so that they can bring Allison back from that world at the right time. Richard goes to the room and sees his secretary, but he understands that this is a trick of the soul. The door of the room closes, and he hears voices from the washroom, he goes to check and the soul controlled him. Allison sees her grandfather in the other world who was weeping and also sees her real grandmother, who cuts her neck and the priest was waiting for Richard in the real world, but when he doesn't return he goes upstairs. He opens the room, but everything there was weird and Richard was also under that soul's control. He hurriedly takes his bag and goes to Allison while shutting the door. He takes out his things and asks the soul to stay away from Allison while performing magic. The soul moves far from Allison, but Allison sees the first wife of her grandfather, the soul who was behind them. Then she sees her father saying, stay here, but she says no I come here to bring my son back. Her father tells her the way further and asks her to take care of herself. She moves forward and sees her grandfather, he was taking his wife and burying her while digging a grave. But her grandmother was saying I am pregnant, don't kill me, but he buried her. Seeing it, Allison thinks here she will find her baby, and she finds her baby when she digs a grave. Now she was trying to take him to the real world, but when she was about to move to the real world, the soul captured her. We see Allison returns to her world the next moment, and she says, while opening her eyes, did I bring my baby? The priest says no, but you tried well, meanwhile, they hear baby's voice, and when they check Richard was playing with the baby. And the priest becomes happy to see that Allison's family is now complete. It is shown after a few years that the priest again comes to meet Allison's family, Richard tells him they are shifting. Because he can't put his wife and baby in trouble. The priest comes inside the house and sees Allison's baby, but he doesn't find Allison anywhere. Here, the priest again feels someone's presence and gives that crystal ball to the baby to play. Meanwhile, the ball turned black and the priest understands that there is a dangerous power in this house. Then Allison arrives and says you're welcome and ends him while attacking. After it, Richard comes home and sees the priest's dead body and was also hearing voices from the basement. He goes there to check and there was his baby in the demon's hands, Allison also ends him while attacking from behind. Actually, the soul has taken control of Allison, killing everyone as Allison, ensuring that no one leaves the house. Now what this dead bride will do with Allison and her baby? This movie ends with this suspense. Kindly subscribe the channel and turn on notification for upcoming movies. Thanks for watching.